Hey guys, we are out in Uday Park and um, we, this video is going to be a little special because I have my friend Aditya over here. So Aditya, tell us something about yourself. Uh, I am now 39 years old. Um, I live in Uday Park and I have been riding a motorcycle for over 20 years. I have originally owned a Yesd King 250 and then after that I owned a 350 standard which I had for almost 18 years and uh, I've sort of progressed I've had been fortunate enough to have ridden enough different bikes but I am speaking here today about a very special bike that Shri owns and has very <laughs> kindly uh, lent it to me for a week Aditya has, sorry, Aditya has three motorcycles with him, which is a 500 Machismo, a 500 Classic and a 350 Bullet. And all of them are like compressing machines, which I really don't know how to drive. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, I have come and show you. We've got three bikes in here. We've got a Classic, which is a 2010 model we've got a uh, uh, machismo 350 which is uh, roughly now at 13 years old and we've got this which is my favorite which is a 500 oh, thunderbird which is now being made into a bullet uh, uh, this is also the bike which rode to raid the himalayas and he's, he's ridden it so much that the odometer actually reset from triple nine or four nines to a zero and then back again. Yeah. So uh, he's actually so a veteran. <laughs> this is, this is, has to be my most favorite motorcycle. I don't come, I don't think anything comes close. But after having driven the Interceptor, I, it really changed the game for me. I'm not someone who endorses uh, modern technology so easily I'm someone who's a creature of habit <laughs> but uh, I have to say that Enfield has completely reinvented the way they look at motorcycling and built a new bike from the ground up and everything that I know about the bike uh, it's like it's not familiar for me it's not the same sound it's not the same engine it's not the same uh, pickups, uh, the thump has changed, everything seems to be different on this bike. Um, so what did you really enjoy about this motorcycle, this particular one? Where do I start? I mean, I think one is that it feels very easy. Everything feels smooth and um, I am so used to maintenance, I am so used to uh, leaks i'm so used to uh low mileage um, <laughs> i'm not used to, i mean i usually think i'm pretty fast with my bikes but this like puts everything else to shame so and i feel like it's an un unfair comparison to make with old end fields and that's i true. actually feel that uh, if you were to compare those three bikes i would feel like though that's a better comparison to make okay. but i would say this is more modern. It's a very new age motorcycle and I think it's it's relevant today from a different standpoint. Uh, I would compare it to the likes of a BMW or a Triumph. Wow. And I would <laughs> league it in that category because I think it's aspiring to be there. And I think in terms of its price for money and the in value the road money. conditions, yeah. it's actually the winner. I mean, I can't, not have, not all of us can afford to buy BMWs and Triumphs and we can keep comparing it till we come, but we can't afford them. This True. is also not cheap, but it comes closest to something that is for an Indian market. And I think it would kick ass even if you've driven in Australia and other places, because it would still be cheap for them also. So in all ways, it's like uh, ISRO. In <laughs> India, nice. we make the most uh, cheap rockets that go to space. <laughs> so that's why everyone comes to us. That's so a very really good, good comparison, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I would say that, uh, I mean, today, just as an experiment, I have been hearing about uh, this Chai Challenge, 
and today i thought let's try it with a, a okay, let's start with those pros and, those those, cores, those uh, pros yeah yeah and actually look at whether this bike stands the test of the thumb. sure sure let's, so let's bring it on that. bring it on yeah yeah this is going to be awesome Since you don't have chai right now, it's just a little bit funny. True, true. So usually, it's a chai cup yada, and you end up always having on the highways a chai break is much necessary. So let's see if what happens to this. Nothing has fallen yet. Nothing has fallen yet. Smooth. It's only moving, but nothing is spilled. Now, if you were to actually go about it as a thump, you would feel anyway. I think also the design is more flat compared to the Enfys, which are more curvy. More curvy, yeah. But that's not the point. The point is that the thump, which is the signature of characteristic the Enfys, of Enfys, yeah. Which is, which is not. First of all, it's completely changed, and then of course, uh, so it's a test for the vibrations. And what does vibrations mean? It means especially when you are on highways I, what tires us out it's also the amount of vibrations that come into us right at some point say 200 kilometers down the line you will take a break and you want to like your bum starts to hurt and everything is vibrations are good to a point but if it's constantly there then after a while you need to time out from it so i feel like what you can achieve with this is if you're going on straight roads you can push yourself further and not get tired so easily that's the advantage as opposed to those ones see i'm quite used to now driving i have done non stop driving from delhi to manali in one go but i was much younger then i am now as i <laughs> why i mentioned my age earlier because as i'm getting older i'm realizing i could welcome some comfort so i don't have to always keep pushing myself while i love it uh, i don't think i'll ever stop riding but uh, if i can make life a little simpler for me which this bike seems to be doing i'd be happy Nice. I mean, this bike kicked ass. I felt like there was nothing that was faster than me on the road. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I would just say that uh, uh, the bike sounds really good. Whatever you've done with the silencers that you've installed, these are not custom silencers, but they sound really good. And the pickup is tremendous. Um, I think the posture of the handlebar is is quite comfortable. I think these are tremendous. They are really good. So you I didn't even know that you could adjust these. Uh, uh, just, yeah, let's go uh, pull the them way. forward. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you, you mentioned that the handlebar position is pretty comfortable. A lot of people are asking me about the handlebars. These are actually Himalayan ones. And how tall are you? Five nine. Five nine. So do you have to reach out? Can you just sit on the motorcycle and show people how the reach is? For someone who's five foot nine, the reach is about that. So this is still on the stand. So this is, see now, this is how I would normally be. My left foot is entirely flat on the ground, and I'm still pretty comfortable. And this is my posture. Okay. Versus on an end field, where I would probably be a little bit more upright, more, more straight up like that. So it's a bit forward. It's a I bit forward, given, yeah. Given the fact that you are driving at faster speeds. it's actually it might be better for aerodynamics to be a bit forward but doesn't it mean that people who are of a shorter height than you would get a little bit tired on the palms because of the forward positioning i can't speak for what okay uh, okay because i don't feel that fatigued at all because i am 62 and i my reach is fairly long so um because i've now got bikes which i have gears on both sides I don't see that being a problem either. Whether the this is a constant debate that everybody has that I'm used to driving bikes on one side of the gear or the other, it makes no difference. Muscle memory is not just limited to one side or the other. Muscle memory can take over in whichever form. Okay. You drive cars which are automatic. Yeah. You drive cars which are manual. Don't be petrified. If you are like a uh, someone who enjoys driving in any which way, be open to new experiences, and you'll realize your body adapts to it all. I mean I would love to drive a 90s 20s motorcycle even if it comes with all its other problems because it's an experience worth having and 
certain things bring certain value to you and you want to sort of make the best of that nice anything about the mirrors did so you feel any you, glare on that to when be you were honest, on the, yep my first take is that they look pretentious to me pretentious <laughs> they look like what is this am i even going to use these and they look like just more show shy than anything else because i'm used to the straight up mirrors and most Those, of delhi i call them mickey mouse mirrors <laughs> that's true that's what we are looking at but most of the delhi is putting their mirrors inside and i am the only one who seems to have his mirrors out and i would rather wait and not be wiggling through traffic all the time but strangely i found these to be quite useful so they're small that's a, that's a good advantage also it's got some kind of a tint which doesn't allow me the high beam to hit my eyes at night so which is really i mean these are things that i'm not used to seeing so again this is great in terms of technology and actually they're not bad and the chances of this getting damaged are less than your upright uh, rear view mirrors which i've broken many many over the years even i've broken one of those <laughs> that's true <laughs> okay and these were comfortable you mentioned and the sound was nice Okay, one thing that you've installed here is this uh, mobile holder, which is really nice. It goes really well with the general geometry of the handlebar. Yep, and this works well. But my fear is, say, if, like the other day I was driving in Gurgaon, and I'm and I've got this on. Anyone can pull it. The phone. Yeah. The phone. Yeah. So that's a worry. While if you, look, I mean, if I've got a mobile phone holder, then I want something which. I can also keep and not just have the holder. Maybe a rubber band thing around it would be a little bit more secure. But again, again, it all depends on your luck. Also, <laughs> it's also about getting used to it. But getting I, used to it, yeah. I, 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 that was my only concern that I had. Okay. Uh, yeah. In terms, I think even then, I think this bike is giving pretty decent mileage, given that it's a uh, 650 cc. 650 cc. What you're packed in in that, what you're achieving is still tremendous. Now, don't compare it to other bikes. I think standalone. Uh, I've driven bikes which are 1200 cc, and they burn a fair bit of fuel sure. as well. Uh, Did you experience any heat dissipating from the motorcycle? Not so far. We are also right now. I'm riding in February, early February. It's still pretty cool. Okay. And that a real test of that would be to drive it in the peak of the summer, June, July. When I normally I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. and how quickly does my leg hair burn <laughs> will be really test to see if that is possible or not because on your old Harley Davidson I burnt a lot of my hair I had to wear pants whether it is summer or winter and yeah. I shouldn't have to have to put up with that <laughs> but yeah. it's a motorcycle you need to cover yourself pretty nicely but then again okay <laughs> if i'm going to buy milk in the morning i'm not going to dress up in biker clothes to go do that and how do i want to burn my hair <laughs> yeah but then again you won't go buy milk on a Harley Davidson also na i want to <laughs> Why not? <laughs> sure. Okay, uh, and then uh, let's come to the cons then. Yeah. So I still, I, even though I gave you feedback earlier, and after having driven my bike again, I do feel the suspension is hard. It could be softer because when you go over speed breakers, I can go at double the speed on my motorcycle, and I don't feel that jerk the way I feel it on this. I feel like it's very rigid. It's of course closer to the road, so it's great for high speeds. But again, we are in India, we are in Delhi. Nothing is perfect. They just built this road now after like I don't know 10 years. Yesterday they built a new road. Yep, so, I've I know that <laughs> for sure. So uh, we are largely used to driving without good roads. So potholes is a given. So at least have a little more. softer suspension that's easy on the bumps so suspension on the rear can be adjusted for 5 points okay but not in the front if you have to put it in its best condition for me to want to give you a response on that but at the moment that's what i felt no even i, I feel that the front suspensions are a bit more stiff go ahead go ahead the seat is not the most comfortable either i know you've changed it but i i, I would probably want uh softer seats or seats which have some kind of uh shock absorbers in them to cushion it in some way okay but usually people who tour a lot they prefer a harder seat as opposed to a softer one which you are saying and this is a premium one that i installed like last year i can only tell you from the bikes that i've driven and they are uh hard seats is on long rides just becomes really painful the amount of times you were sitting and holding your bum and just like massaging it is painful <laughs> Uh 
Yeah, I mean, I think overall, even this thing that you've done with the cowl, it looks very retro. It's got a very nice vibe to it. And the fact that you can open this up and make it a two-seater is great. I'm because the cowl just sits on the seat, <laughs> just like that. Yeah, I know, which is great. Uh, most often than not, if we are in my lifestyle, I don't have pillions on a daily basis. You only have pillions when you are ferrying a friend uh, once in a while. So at that time, you sort of knock this off. Or if you're going on a long ride, then you knock it off. But otherwise, uh, I think this aesthetic is great. And also, I've also uh, I just came from the petrol station. This doesn't get that hot. I went not just from the petrol station. I went all the way to Gurgaon and made my friend touch it after reaching Gurgaon, and he also didn't feel a thing. Nope. Which is which is very it's impressive. Great, and it doesn't give you a leg burn. I've had many girlfriends burn their legs. <laughs> Permanent bullet marks on their thighs. So that's better in terms of getting a tattoo then. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And also, did you feel anything on the tires? Because I've installed Outex kit to make them tubeless. They say that it makes a ride a bit more flush, but to be honest, I really didn't feel you that are much. You talking to someone who has never ridden tubeless tires, <laughs> so uh, I won't be able to tell them the difference in that. Certainly, uh, wider diameter tires are a slightly taller height, give you more sort of a balance balance to it, but uh, grip on the road, yeah. But I can't tell. If there's a difference between tubeless and tube and does that make any difference? Brilliant. Thank you so much, Adi. I think this helps a lot of people to come to the decision that they want to get an Interceptor or a Honda Highness. That they've been asking me a lot of that question. So I think this helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all.